A motion graphics template, also known as a Mogurt file, allows you to get that high-end After Effects look without leaving Premiere. So here are my top tips and tricks on how to get pro titles in just a few clicks. We're gonna cover importing and customizing, plus how to integrate images and video into your motion design. And even a nifty trick to retime the length of your animations, making zero cuts. My name is Grant M. Fletcher, and I recently created a brand new graphics package for Matty Hapoya's YouTube. YouTube channel and he was generous enough to suggest that we share it with everyone to make your edits easier as well. Premiere will be using the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't see it, go to Window, Essential Graphics. Now Premiere comes with some stock Mogurts you can mess around with, but to add a single Mogurt to your library, click on this icon in the bottom right. Usually though, you'll have a larger pack. Scando as an example has over 60 files and I would not want to import those one by one. You can choose to drag the folder that you've downloaded into the common folder where all the other templates already live. This will then automatically update in Premiere, but the essential graphics panel can quickly become very cluttered. So here's how I prefer to do it to keep my workflow extra quick. At the top of the panel, click on the drop down menu. Select manage additional folders. Now simply click add and select the folder that you want to import. Now, instead of scrolling through all of our Mogurts, we can select the folder we want from this drop-down menu. Above that, there is a search bar where you can search for the title or even keywords the creator has embedded. Now let's drag and drop the Mogurt we need onto our timeline, which also automatically creates a motion graphics template media folder in the project panel. To watch the Mogurt back without it being choppy, hit enter to render your timeline. All right, so now we're getting to the good stuff. How do you customize it and how do you make it your own? With your Mogurt selected on the timeline, select the edit tab in the essential graphics panel. Remember that every motion graphics template is not created equal. In some cases, you have too few things you can change and in other cases, the design can be easy to break. With Scando, we've worked hard to let you change the text, font, color, placement, and more within the boundaries of the animation and aesthetic. So let's start by changing the text. In this case, the text details in the background and border are linked to the main title. So that's a few less clicks for you right there. Now let's change the font and color to match your branding. If you don't already have a brand typeface, I have painstakingly curated 10 suggested fonts perfect for this particular vibe. These are all free fonts within Adobe Fonts, which comes included with every Adobe subscription. Go to adobe.fonts.com and use your Creative Cloud login to access over 20,000 fully licensed fonts. Just in case you don't wanna wade through all those fonts on your own, you can watch one of my font-centric videos and I've done all the work for you. Whenever downloading a new Mogurt pack, I highly recommend hunting down and installing the fonts you used in the example before importing the Mogurts into Premiere. Sometimes it's just really great to see the designer's original intent before you start customizing. And in some cases, there's only one font that you can actually use, for example, with the little time Mogurt. One quirk in Scando is that along with the size adjustment, you also have a handy animation crop slider for those little micro size adjustments to make sure your chosen font isn't cropped or too small to optimize this cool little scrolling animation. To get the color exactly right, I like to use the color picker on a palette I've created in my libraries panel. Maybe more on that another day. You can also choose any color as normal, but then for consistency across your branding, copy and paste the hex code, this little thing, for your other graphics elements. Then toggle the border, text details, corner details to get it looking just right, and even adjust the vignette and background text. In some Mogurts, you can change an image or video file using the media replace function. If you see an image in the essential graphics panel, simply drag and drop your image into that space. You can also change the size and position with the toggles just below. It's actually the same for a video file. Plus you can change the in point 
by increasing this frame number here. Or you can set an endpoint in the source panel and then drag it from the source panel into the essential graphics panel. My favorite little hack is that you can actually drag a sequence on here. So if you want an edited sequence or some effects applied to this, that's how you would do it. I've never actually heard anyone mention this, I just stumbled on it by accident. The media placement also works with vector logos and files with transparencies. Let's talk about the edit itself. Built into most of Scando are animations in and out. But rather than needing to put edits in the middle of the sequence, take that out to shorten the length. What we've done is we've built in responsive design in time. So that means often there are protected intros and outros, sometimes even a section in the middle. So you can drag the end of the clip to the length you want and it will preserve the speed of those animated sections. Now, just as an example to visualize it, let me show you what's going on in the After Effects project file. You can see there are these little handles that are highlighted. So this means you can shorten or lengthen any title without the need to make any cuts, which is just so much cleaner and quicker. Again, that's not a feature of all Mogurts, but I built it in where relevant and it's incredibly useful. Another pro tip is once you've made all your branding changes, the color, the font, that kind of thing, consider saving a template Premiere Pro file so that every time you open it, all those changes are there. All you have to do is change the text because otherwise you have to go back into the essential graphics panel every single time and there's no need to do that. And that's how I do it anyway. I just start with a template file. If you're more of an After Effects nut like me, then we've included Included the project file. What I'm most proud of is that all of the text and the colors, they all link to master composition. So for example, you go into one comp, you change the colors once, and then everything else, all the colors change. So all your branding's already done and laid out. Um, it's pretty geeky to get excited about it, but you know, that's what I'm into. Tag Maddie and I on the gram so we can see what you create with this. And as always, remember that you are loved you are valued and you are way more valuable than the things that you create.